What's up YouTube and in this video, in this uh, PHP programming video, I'll be showing you how to make dynamic pages uh, right there. Uh, now right here I've just got this basic uh, basic layout for a website. All it is is just a, a header and a table, a uh, two column table. And here's the code for it right here. It's very simple. And uh, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be uh, making it uh, dynamic pages. And now, if you don't know what that is, it's dynamic pages are essentially just, uh, you can make your, your content right here, so our website content, uh, you can make that change, but your, your header and your uh, navigation, your menus and everything, it won't change. So uh, the user, your users can just uh, change your, your website content without uh, changing the, the layout and everything. Uh, and it, as a programmer, it does save you lots of time. Uh, you don't have to uh, uh, just continuously copy and paste code from uh, from your header into every single page of your website. Instead, you can just make uh, one page, your index page, and then have everything else be included in that page, which which uh, does save a lot of time. All right, so uh, we're gonna get to the coding now or scripting. Now, right here, where we have uh, website content, uh, right here, we're going to have our, our, uh, our PHP script. All right. So, uh, what, peach, what uh, dynamic pages will look like? In your uh, URL box, you've probably seen something like this. It'll say something like index.php uh, question mark page equals tutorials or something like that the the page equals tutorials that's the uh, that's the dynamic page part uh, so it will it will have that uh, and now uh, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to uh, have pages have sections and subsections and even a little bit of security and uh, error messages in case uh, your users do something they shouldn't so first what we're gonna do is we're gonna start out with a page variable and we're going to say dollar sign underscore get. And then in here we're going to have page. Now where you see page right here, uh, where you see page right here uh, is whatever your variable is going to be called. Like up here we had uh, page equals tutorials. Whatever that variable is going to be called. And now uh, we're going to say if dollar sign page. So if actually we'll say if there's no page, so we'll say exclamation uh, dollar sign page. So if there's no page, then page will be equal to um, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Index. We'll say like index or or home. We'll have a home page. Page will be equal to home. So, uh, what this will do is, if if there's no page provided, like up here, if, if it doesn't say page equals and then something, pa our page will automatically be equal to home, and we'll have another page in here which don't haven't made yet, which uh, it'll be home.php, and it will include that uh, whatever's in there. So now we want to use the include function, and we're going to include. And in here we're going to have a directory, uh, which I'm just going to call our directory, uh, we'll just call it content. And then uh, you want to have, after your parentheses, you want to have uh, two periods. Uh, and inside this period, you want to have dollar sign page. And then after the other period, uh, you want to have dot php. So now what'll happen is we're gonna whatever we're gonna make another folder and we're gonna call it content and in this content folder we're gonna create several new uh, files and we're gonna save them in here. We're gonna have a first one called home.php. Uh, we're gonna have another one. And this is going to be, whoops, 
There we go. Tutorials.php. So now we have two files inside of our uh, uh, content folder. So now, uh, in here, we're going to say, this is my home page. And we're going to save it. And then here, we're going to say, this is a tutorials page. So we have these two files. So uh, if we refresh this, see how there's nothing there? It says this is my home page. Now in our home page, we, it says this is our home page. Excuse me for some. It says this is our home page and it's shown right there. So whatever you put in here, uh, it'll automatically change once the page is refreshed. So you can just put in a bunch of random letters and save it and then refresh and all those letters are there. And every, so every time you change the content of these pages, it'll automatically be changed. So now we're going to come back into our navigation bar here, and we're going to say index.php uh, question mark page equals tutorials. Now if we save this out and refresh it here, if we click on this, it'll say that should say this is our tutorials page there we go so every time you click on this it will uh, it will change the content so now up here we have index.php dollar sign or not dollar sign question mark page equals tutorials now if we click on home it'll change just to index.php and the content right there changed now, if you don't like this, how it always says index.php or whatever file.php, you can easily make it so it doesn't say that. Uh, in your index file, you want to change the index.php to simply a period, just a period. And then in here, you want to take off the index.php and leave it blank. So, in here, it'll change this, so it'll just take us to index.php. Or it'll, it'll take us to our index file, but it won't have the index.php in our URL bar. And if you click on tutorials, it says this is our tutorial page, and it doesn't have the index.php. Alright, uh, this is the end of the first part of the dynamic pages uh, tutorial. And in the next part, I'll be going over uh, categories and subcategories using dynamic pages.